Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 27th through to May the 3rd. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cappy. First up, Five of Swords reversed. Next, we have the High Priestess in the upright, followed then by the Three of Wands upright. Next, we have the Ace of Swords upright. And lastly, we have the Four of Wands upright. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go overall energy is out of the Five of Swords in the reverse position. I do prefer to see this energy inverted as opposed to upright. When it's upright, this can point to uh, some serious conflict and battles and verbal battles and all that stuff. When the card is inverted, however, this is where, you know, we lay down our sword, so to speak. And uh, this could be a conflict comes to an end. Maybe it's been a long-standing conflict for some of you. Uh, this could be something that just happened recently. And uh, there was a lot of conflict, a lot of talk, a lot of people at each other, that kind of thing. But it's it's over now. It's, you know, we lay down the swords. We're saying we're no longer fight. It's... Uh, retreat or it's um, the whole thing is over and done with now. So you're putting something to rest it looks like this week and as a result of it you're moving forward. <laughs> so that's good. So coming right off the hop we do have the high priestess here in the upright position. Cappy you must listen to your intuition this week. It will lead you to where you need to go. The high priestess is all about tapping into that intuition, that just knowing, because whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish this week, whether it be on the romantic front, on the uh, financial front, on the health, career, what have you, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, there's nobody out there who can give you the answers. That's why we need to go within and just, or just listen to your gut feeling, listen to your intuition. Just what is your gut telling you at the early part of the week, Capricorn, about how to proceed with something? And it's paired up here with the Three of Wands. You're uh, very progressively moving towards something. You have a plan in mind, whether it me, whether for some of you, this could be, you're building on a relationship, a new relationship, or rebuilding a, a relationship. And you just need that one extra wand and you will have arrived. For others of you, this is about career. This could be about <clears throat> home. Some of you literally could be building a home. Uh, maybe you're, you know, working in, as a contractor and you're building something physically. Others of you, you're just, you're moving forward. Capricorns are progressing this year big time. With Jupiter, Jupiter is sort of like the wind behind your sail right now. So it's pushing you forward. It's propelling you towards some progressive action, moving towards something. And then by the weekend, we have the Ace of Swords here. Aces always usher in a new beginning for you, Capricorn. This could be a representative of a new idea, an idea that, aha, you know, comes out of the anti-cosmos. And you're like, I love that idea. I'm going to move forward with that. That's how I can get from <clears throat> where I'm at right now to where I ultimately want to be. It could be just a brand new idea. For others of you, this could be a new way of communicating. This is the sword of victory too, remember. So you are victorious in whatever it is you're pursuing. Others of you, this could represent clarity. Maybe you didn't see the light before in a situation and now you see it crystal clear. Others of you, this could just be a very uh, clear cut communication that um, you know is the start of something good moving forward. <clears throat> and the last card you have up is the four of wands in the upright position. That's why this is beautiful. Three of wands, you just need that extra wand, right? Maybe for some of you, you needed that brilliant idea. Others of you, you just, um, through some clear cut communication and some clarity, you managed to get where to where you were going because now you've reached the summit here, Capricorn. So uh, we've got the Four of Wands, beautiful energy. It's one of the best cards in the Minor Arcana. Uh, this is where we have arrived. We've reached a summit. This is a certain level of success. It's not the ultimate, but what it is is um, is a certain like the the point where you can finally rest and say yes I am here this is where I was going we always build things in stages right even relationships there's always a beginning and a middle and then you know moving forward 
So this is about, for some of you, maybe you are building a relationship that's turning into something very solid because the Four of Wands can represent an engagement party, even a wedding for some. Like this is about, uh, you know, finishing building that home. This is this can represent a housewarming party. Uh, you know, however it applies, remember it's just a general read, so it's gonna be different for all of you, but only take what makes sense to you and resonates for you. If it doesn't, then it wasn't meant for you. So that is your reading, Cappy. So I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.